after we go into Iman uh, on Lafayette's uh, here in Lafayette, rather trees are causing some massive problems are falling into homes and blocking roads. So Iman Boyd is live at the corner of Moss and Mud Street. Now Iman, what kind of damage are you seeing out there? Katie, it is extremely dangerous out here. I actually want to we'll do a little walk with you. There is a tree that is blocking this whole entire left section of this intersection right here. And just to give you an indication of how dangerous this is, I want, uh, Seth, if you can turn the camera around and show, we actually saw several cars try and pass on this intersection and having to move around and get around this tree. So if you can avoid this area, that would probably be, be best because it is extremely dangerous out here. And we're, we're not sure if city officials have come and assessed this damage, but if you can avoid this area, that would be best. And we're not sure how long this tree has actually been out here. Now, another thing I want to point out too, after the hurricane, there is a strong humidity here. Uh, we've only been out here for probably about 15, 20 minutes and it's extremely hot. We actually saw a couple people trying to walk and look at the tree and everything. But if you can stay at home, that would probably be best. You should not be on the roadways and, you know, getting into this type of damage. Wait until city officials assess all of the damage that is around the north side and around Lafayette. So I'll send it back to you guys. Imana, you are um, near Mud Avenue in Moss Street. You know, to get there, what other damage have you seen, you know, in driving over there? Yeah, Katie, so on the way um, coming from Evangeline Thruway, we actually saw a car that was, uh, there was a car accident as we were coming in. So traffic got extremely heavy as we were making our way here. We actually had to go around and come back here on Mud Avenue. So just that's just an indication of how dangerous this is right now. And like I mentioned before, nobody should be on the roadways trying to assess their own damage or looking at other people's damage. Waiting until city officials assess all of the damage is the best move right now. All right, Iman, Iman have you got a chance to talk to some of the residents? Are they able to get, you know, help each other up there? Um, we actually saw a couple out here. Their house is uh, actually right here, Seth. Um, they were out and they were saying that they've been out of power for a while and they actually noticed this tree here earlier this morning and they were just astonished and seeing that people are still on the roadways trying to actually pass here is not a good idea. They actually haven't left their home and they're advising other people to do the same thing. They've been living here for quite a while and they've never seen any type of damage on this street right here. So again, that's just another indication of how dangerous and how powerful Hurricane Delta was when it made landfall last night. All right, thanks. That's Iman Boyd reporting live here in Lafayette.